back in Bangkok. My heart is racing. Welcome to Koh Samui. Gonna show you what one of our average days is. You have to be a little bendy. This is Masaman curry. Pork noodle soup. Our first stop is the Big Buddha. It's like Jaws down there. That was a surprise. There was an elephant sanctuary. We started building this in 1976. We looked all over town for the best fried chicken. The best shakes in Lamai. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Hey, Katie. Happy 12 year anniversary of our first date. Oh. oh. <laughs> Back in Bangkok. Seriously, welcome to Bangkok. I'm not alone in here. The what? Getting some Thai street food. From that cart right there. He's hot. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Thai coffee, my favorite. I have been waiting three years to drink this. Wonderful. One minute, 37 seconds later. My heart is racing so badly. Wow, I forgot how powerful they are. I will be limiting myself on those. We always discover some interesting snacks. Lay's potato chips, but they are stranger things. So they're upside down. That's cool. Where are they? I think they're talking about us. Welcome to Koh Samui, Thailand. We're staying at the Samui Beach Villas. This is what $40 a night or less will get you. In hot weather, an outdoor kitchen is the bomb. This next one is the bomb. The bomb. The bomb. We have two bedrooms and two bathrooms and they're only private swimming pools, so no swimsuits are needed. Just put my foot under the desk to work on the computer. Oh, holy God. Welcome to Thailand. But also, welcome to Thailand. Good morning, and it is actually morning, unlike a lot of our mornings, it's pretty early. I'm not even gonna pretend that uh, we haven't been here for well over a week already and done basically no recording. Gonna show you what one of our average days has been like here. This place is really special. So of course, every morning starts with coffee. Product placement. Tilted slightly to the side so it doesn't look intentional. Forgot to notify Kate that I was gonna be bringing her coffee, so you'll just have to trust me that she's got her morning coffee. Then we try to make the most of having a private pool. And do some reading. And some meditation. And have a little lunch, of course from 7-Eleven. Then I'm gonna take a nap. While I get some more editing done. And then we head to the beach. Oh yeah. We come down in the afternoon because the sun is a little less intense. We do a little bit of exercise, do a little hanging in this amazing water. We do that pretty much every day. They're feeling sorry for us right about now. <laughs> now it's time for a Thai massage on the beach, 300 baht, which is about $8. We sat here with the wind blowing and the birds and the ocean. That is the best massage atmosphere ever. Thai massages, you, you have to be a little bendy. They bend you all over the place, but it was a fantastic massage. <laughs> now it's time to find some dinner. Mai Thai has quickly become our go-to place. The meals are about 80 baht a piece. You can smell them cooking and it smells amazing. Pad Thai. It's funny how different places have the Pad Thai, like this one's really sweet, other places are more savory. That's really good. This is garlic chicken. That's some Kong green papaya salad. Chris got that spicy. Oh, it is hot. <laughs> and this is Masaman curry. Oh wow. Thai, yeah. Uh, fries. yeah. I love crinkly fries. And what they also have in there is deep fried garlic. Oh good. I'm devastated. I asked them what the sign meant and they said they're gonna be closed for an entire week. They've been open all through COVID. This is the first vacation they have had, so it's well deserved. <laughs> It's getting dark, I gotta start playing with the lighting. All of that food that we just tore down was 380 baht, which is about 12 US dollars. We have one more, despite that enormous meal, thing to show you this evening before we retire. Dinner was so big, we'll save the other snack for another night. We just came home, jumped right in the pool. We'll catch you later. Bye. If we hadn't ordered dinner for 12 last night, we would have ended up at Rodi Oteen. The egg roti is hard to beat. The folks at Rodi Oteen need, slap, and fry that little ball of dough into absolute deliciousness. And then for good measure, they cover it in condensed milk. Hey, we didn't say it was healthy, but oh man, is it good. Some days for a change of pace, we'll just hop on the scooter and go explore for a while. We never can tell what we'll come across, but it usually tastes delicious. 
It's a Thai place, but they don't speak any English, and they just pointed. I got, uh, what is it, stewed pork flair. This is pork noodle soup. Absolutely incredible. Got a little pork meatballs, some chicharron, some fried pork skin. We've got onions and cut up some other things. Look, maybe it might be shallots and some kale. Big, thick rice noodles and a broth that is just deep with flavor. It's not spicy yet, but it's gonna be when I put some of this orange sauce of death in it. That is amazing. I can't believe it's been two weeks. I love this place. And Stefani, the host, is absolutely amazing. But for now, it's time to load up our moto and head to a new place. And for the next two weeks, we're here at Thai House. Not the private luxury that we're used to, but it's pretty nice. And it's right on the beach. A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive. We have spent the last month relaxing, enjoying this beautiful island. So today, we're gonna explore the culture and the beauty of this place. We are right here and we're gonna go. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever. There are many theories of what Samui means, but my favorite is the Malay word for safe haven. Ever since we arrived, I feel so comforting and special here. Our first stop is the Big Buddha. It's about a half hour north of Lamai. This was built in 1972 and is 40 feet high or 12 meters. Next stop is Wat Kwa Lam. This place is really spread out. But it's got a lot of unique individual things. This temple is sitting on a lotus flower, which is really unique. If you we go ahead back out to the outside, you'll see it. Dudes are freaking enormous. It's like jaws down there. This is the goddess of mercy. She has 18 hands and she protects uh, the impoverished. She gives healthy children and protects the semen. I'm pretty sure she meant sailors. I want somebody's butt! I want it now! I've had it! I read before we actually cross the bridge, to show respect, you take off your shoes. This Buddha is for prosperity and careless joy. And I love his face. It is careless joy. Back on the road. They believe this place has a holy well, and I'm gonna have to read this. If you drank it, you would have good intelligence, fortune, and would become a nobleman. Quite interesting. What about a noble woman? <laughs> no, I don't think they're allowed to drink out of this. That was a surprise. <laughs> they may not let me drink out of the well, but I can definitely play on the beach. While we can live on 7-Eleven alone, we probably shouldn't. I'm not the biggest fan of soda water, but I tried this and it's fantastic, so now I'm addicted to it. It's better than Coke. <laughs> I got the Thai omelet with rice. Crispy eggs, those are really good. And he got Pad Thai with red pork. Oh, that's a winner. All those fresh vegetables, it's savory and says sweet. That's really good. And now we're off to search for some waterfalls. No, 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 no. They say this waterfall is something you have to see if you come to Koh Samui. Apparently there's a waterfall number one and waterfall number two. There was an elephant sanctuary as we were coming up, but since as we drove by, they were all riding the elephants. I don't think it was much of a sanctuary, so we didn't film that, nor will we go there. Do what you do though. We just do us. It costs 20 bucks to park your motorbike, and then you were right here. 
Wow. And up we go. We are right here. Hello. So where all have we gone today? As much as I love those Birkenstocks, my bare feet have way better traction on wet rocks than those things do. Those are slippery as hell. We found waterfall number two. A bit of an exploration and a couple of friends saying, yeah, we're trying to find it too. These are our new friends we made on the road. Hello. <laughs> From South on the community. You dogs. Hello. <laughs> We're trying to find a waterfall. This is a water slide with no water in it. And the, at the end, a puddle of goo. Where we're going, we don't need roads. The magic garden. It's your back, Mama. The fun club. A retired durian farmer started building this at the age of 77. It's in 1976, and he died at 91. Somewhere in here is supposed to be a statue of a man and a little boy, and that's the guy with his father. Couldn't find it anywhere. If you've seen it, put it in the comments below, and we'll go back and look at it. I thought it was really cool. Drive alone is worth coming up here. It's beautiful. It's very, very steep. It was cool, but I don't think it's worth the 80 baht. You spend about 10 minutes, 15, if you stretch it. I don't know how people spend 45 minutes. A lot of selfies. That can take hours. <laughs> and don't forget your bug spray because you will absolutely need it. And there's a cute dog at the very beginning, which we didn't get a picture of. So I don't know why I'm telling you that. Because you have no picture to look at. <laughs> there are amazing food options all around Lamai. But our go-to for street food is this spot right here. We looked all over town for the best fried chicken and it's right here. Hello, Sadika. She's got a bunch of other great stuff too. Just pick what you want and then she heats it up. Sadika. Sadika. That lady right there makes the best shakes in Lamai. Watermelon. I remember you. Do please. are the best. Sometimes we have two apiece. Actually, I probably shouldn't admit that. Ah, uh, couple no, clap. These are the best. Quail eggs wrapped in wonton. As far as our go-to everyday place, this is, this is it. I think we've almost had everything, and it's all fantastic. We're gonna get down to eat. When you're one subscriber away from your next milestone, staring at the screen. Du -du 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 -du. We truly appreciate all of you who continue to support our channel. Koh Samui has been amazing. Next week, we're off to Vietnam, so we'll see you then. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Take the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my love. Happy anniversary. A burger and pizza. <laughs> and the rain is coming. <laughs>